Hello, what up guys? How you doing? It is Lasty here. Welcome today to a new episode of the FIFA 21 Ultimate Team Road to Glory. Finger points to the sky on this fine Saturday. Yes, it's the weekend. You can sit back, relax and enjoy. Probably knowing that you don't have to work or go back to online classes or whatever it is for a couple of days. Hope so anyway. Uh, and if you are working today, well... Hopefully you found a, a brief intermission to sit back, relax, and enjoy. Uh, if you do enjoy, hit me with a thumbs up. We're trying to get 5,000 likes on this Saturday. That would be immense. Thumbs up, please. Thank you very much. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you're new. We are now at 496,000 subscribers. Just 4K away from the big 500. 500K. That would be immense, wouldn't it? Uh, so today's video we are going to start off uh because we didn't get time to do it in the at the end of yesterday's video i need to go ahead and uh complete marquee matchups which i have to say this week offer out some really nice packs um it's not one of the cheaper weeks for marquee matchups you do need to have i mean hopefully you guys have got enough stuff in your club this was the first mms where in uh in a few months probably where i've actually had to go out and buy the odd player um, because I have been using a lot of my club in those upgrade SBCs. So I, I was fairly limited in what I had at my disposal. But also, I managed to pretty much make it work. Um, and yeah, the packs that they offered out are actually really quite nice. So uh, GG's to EA on, on this particular SBC. And of course, it does still remain tradable, which is something we all want to stay because uh, untradeable packs can do one, in my opinion. Um, <laughs> but Leverkusen Dortmund done. Uh, and the final one is, of course, the match between Liverpool and Manchester United, which is obviously a nice big game. Uh, and you did need a player or two players from either club. It could be one from each or whatever. I pretty much didn't have much. And I also am submitting an ASM into this squad. Because I didn't know who else I could possibly get. That was the most difficult one for me. Just to get chem and stuff. Um, but that is of course the one which does offer out. Um, like a premium gold players pack. Uh, and a prime gold players pack. A 45k pack for the overall marquee matchup. So yeah. Fair play. That was a good set of. MMs. As we like to call them for short. Uh, so I'm going to open up these packs right now. I'm guessing maybe by the time you're watching this. I'm recording this literally just before 6pm on Friday night. So I don't know what the Friday night content is as you're watching it. I'm predicting it's some sort of totty splash screen. It either comes out in a few days or in a week or something like that. Uh, so it'll be interesting to know exactly when that's coming. Um, but I am not saving these packs for that. I'm literally just going to open them up now. This was my final shot to get headliners. Uh, and I just wanted to open the pack. So that's exactly what I did. Um, next up is a rare mixed players pack. So not bad. You know, full rare pack. Yes, it's bronze, silver and gold. But you can always still get stuff in these. And we get bored. Um... <clears throat> The player we get is Mexican right winger from Los Angeles. Oh, yes. It is going to be Carlos Vea. Uh, 83 overall. Not bad. Not bad. Uh, especially just from a mix pack. Uh, I'll take that all day long. And then some other players, which I probably should check the prices of. Because some of them might sell. Uh, I do go ahead and list a Dan James. Just because he was like Man United and Man U were in marquee matchups. I figured maybe we could make an alright amount of money from him. Uh, small rare gold players pack next then. So half of a 50k pack. A.K.A. a 25k pack. We get boards again. Nice one. Uh, this time we're getting Brazil. Cam. Oh. Unfortunately that is just going to be Oscar. That is not going to be the greatest. It's just an 83 I thought for a minute there we could have like an 84 or an 85. I don't know who that would be if it was Brazilian Cam. Um, but you always hope for an 85 if you're just getting boards, right? So next up, the premium gold players pack. A 25k pack right now. Can we get a board or a walkout? Uh, oh, no. Unfortunately not. It's not going to happen for us this time. But don't worry. We still have... We still have a lovely 45k pack to go. And I was feeling lucky. I don't know why. I just felt like we've got a couple of boards already in marquee matchups. Could this pack go well for us? Could we actually get something in it? Well, let's see what we're going to get. So, is it a board or a walkout? It's a walkout, ladies and gentlemen. We are going to get ourselves Senegalese oh, centre-back from Napoli. Unfortunately, it was either him 
or Sadio Mane. And uh, for us, unfortunately, this time it is Koulibaly. Um, would have been great to get a first owner Mane or a Mane that we could have sold or something. But yeah, I'll definitely take this. A nice walkout. 88 overall, going to be about 40,000 coins right there. Tradable, of course, so I'm going to list it up. I think it was 38k at the end of the day, uh, and he took a little while to sell. Or did he sell instantly? I can't remember. Either way, uh, it's a decent amount of money to get from marquee matchups. Definitely made that one profitable for sure. Um, so, yeah, obviously that, again, doesn't change this team. If if it had been Mane instead of... Uh, Instead of Koulibaly, we would have got extra coins, meaning that I maybe could have sold Messi to buy Neymar, bring him back in. Uh, but as it goes, we still would be way short, I think, of of Neymar again. Um, probably by about 50 or 60k. Uh, got some players that I do need to sell, though. Uh, and then it came down to this, right? So I was obviously looking at getting this Dos Santos card, uh, who does look very, very good. I'm still interested in him, I have to admit. But the Tavernier SBC came out, and... He does look crazy, and there is great potential for him to be upgraded, obviously, with Rangers doing so well this season. Um, and I was like, if I can do this without spending a penny, I'm doing it. And unfortunately for Dos Santos, a lot of the fodder I was going to use for him has gone into th this SBC or these SBCs. So an Inform and Dybala and a whole bunch of other stuff goes into that one. Uh, and then for the most expensive squad for Tavernier... Literally, it didn't cost me a single penny. Uh, I didn't have to go, go and spend anything. We are going to get rid of Loris, also Neuer. Uh, a lot of the fodder's going. Modric is going, Koke is going, and the inform there as well. So, uh, yeah, I mean, it literally, I haven't spent any money on the market to get this done. Um, but it is from some of the upgrade packs and some of the fodder that we've been storing. So, I was over the moon that we could get this card for free. Uh, essentially, I know it's 200k's worth of fodder or 180k's worth of fodder, but uh, I, I just think this is one of those cards. He's probably one of the best right backs on the game. For us, he's going to be a sub centre mid until I can fit him into the squad. I'm sure at some point in time there'll be like a crazy Ryan Kent that I can get in the team. I don't really like the look of the inform one this week, it doesn't look quite good enough. But when they bring out a flashback Ryan Kent to the crazy one we got last year, which is bound to happen at some point. Then I'll get him and link him to this Tavernier uh, for sure. Even if I have to play this guy at left back on uh, on 7 chem or something. I, I just think, what a card. Club 80 cards and it hasn't cost me any money. And he's like a game or two away from getting uh, that one time upgrade. And you never know when Tavernier is going to get in forms. He's already got two or three this year. So uh, yeah, it just seems like a, a great choice for an SBC even if he doesn't start for the squad. Uh, and let me tell you, just from future lastly, that's played a bunch of weekend league games, have been bringing him on. He has been pretty nuts as a centre mid. I, I rate him a lot after a, a bunch of games played. So uh, even as a sub, yeah, he's great. So there are reward packs for this SBC. You know, the reward packs are just like Electrum packs. They're not amazing. Uh, you kind of... We used to get way better reward packs for doing SBCs, but that is what it is. That is just the way it goes nowadays. But a rare Electrum's not too bad, I guess. Tradable as well. No walkout, but we can get ourselves some boards. And this time we are going to get... I can't even tell you if that what the flag that is. Is it Serbia? Is it Slovakia? Is it Slovenia? I just... I get them confused and I apologize. But it is Ilicic from uh, Atlanta in the Serie A, who I can sell on for about six or 7,000 coins. Uh, so I'll definitely take that. I saw one there with a six point something bid on it. Uh, uh, so I figured, hey, we'll list up for just in the 7Ks and he went literally instantly. So I probably could have got a little bit more for him. But hey, it, you know, it gives us even more coins. We're sitting at 191,000 right now and we've got Messi in our club and we've just done the Tavernier SBC. So things are looking pretty good for us. Obviously, Loris, <laughs> it's time to go. We didn't get a game. Uh, I swapped him from for, with Maignan. Uh, but yeah, eventually I used, I used him, so he's gone. And I figured it would be time to try out one of the best keepers from last year's game, Ter Stegen. I can stick him in net now, and he'll be on full chem, as will my defenders, or, you know, as will Varane be. So yeah, going to put a glove on Ter Stegen and use him for this weekend league. I hope he does all right. Um, you know, it seemed fairly positive as to him being one of the better goalkeepers on this game still. So uh, hopefully he'll do a good job for us. Tavernier, just going to straight up put a shadow on him. Because I know he's going to be coming on at like 5 chem. So if we can just boost the, 
the pace and the defending as much as possible would be a good sub CDM or center mid, should I say. Maybe I should have put uh, a sentinel on him, but I just really don't look like, oh, maybe the aggression could have helped. But let's face it, the chem style is not going to do a huge amount when a player is coming on at just over five chemistry as a super sub. Um, but if we were to use him as a, as a right back, yeah, I'd want a shadow or a sentinel on him. I'm pretty sure. Maybe even an anchor. I can have a little look at the in-game stats later and change that if necessary. So we now have, in terms of defensive subs, we've got uh, Adama, Atal, Awa, and uh, and Tavernier. So that's the like defensive slash midfielder subs. And then Alessandrini, Zaha, Rashford, um, and maybe one more, I can't remember, uh, coming on as attackers. So I've got lots of very good substitutes on, on, on my squad, I have to admit. So going into foot champs then, this is my first game, and I come up against Neymar and Mbappe, game one. Van Dijk, Varane, Kleiber, Theo Hernandez, this is a meta team if I've ever seen one. Uh, and I thought, oh dear, even though we're on old gen, we're still coming up against this game one. Uh, so maybe, just maybe this could end up being a, a loss in, in the first game of the weekend league. However, I did go 1-0 up, and then Messi, I mean... If, if Messi can continue to do that with his left foot all weekend, then that would just be lovely. Um, he's got... Him and Robin obviously have these killer left pegs. Uh, you can really whip the, the balls around with the, with the finesse shot. And then when it comes to power shots, they're both brilliant as well. This is where I love Robin, obviously just getting through like that. However, this time we cut it back, knock it into Joao Felix and then hit the finesse and score uh, because I don't think I was going to get past that defender with Robin even after I did the, the little speed boost there. So we're 3-0 up in this game where I genuinely thought I was going to lose just from looking at his team. Uh, he does get one goal back, but I'm pretty sure we can hold out and uh, and actually push forward and get another goal here. He ends up getting a red card as well, which makes things a little easier for us. But Lionel Messi just, again, that, that wand of a left foot. Love that from him. Uh, and when the defenders don't, uh, when you can actually like get past them in a way that they're not going to hit the AI block, uh, you know you're in for a, a lovely, a lovely whip shot, and it's probably going to hit the back of the net, and you're probably going to run off celebrating. So, um, yeah, come on away with a five-one victory, at game number one. We'll definitely take that. GG to that guy though. Stats-wise, it doesn't look like it should have been a five-one, but we were super clinical with some very, very nice strikes from my attack. And then we went into the next game where we come up against another super sweat team. You know, we've got CR7, Robin, uh, Red Lozano. We all know what he can do uh, on this game. So I have to be very careful here because this guy could know what he's doing and we could be ending up going uh, one on one in the weekend league. Well, we do go 1 0 up though. It only took five minutes as well. So that gave me a little bit of overconfidence. You know, if we go 2 0 up here, my, my head's going to get so big it might explode. Uh, coming away with a victory in this one. And we do go 2-0 up. And last, he does get a little overconfident, which is a major issue. We push through to make it 3-0 here. We do, but he was just offside. So, uh, unfortunately, that one's not going to count. Uh, and then my opponent's Robin does the same thing. Scores a goal, but he was just offside as well. Uh, but this time around, he is going to find the back of the net, or someone is anyway. It actually was Robin, yeah, on a two-star right foot. Um, but, hey, we know... We know that uh, his weak foot is absolutely fine and that people moan about it way too often. Uh, and then he equalizes with CR7 and hits me with a full celebration. Hmm, interesting. So, two all at half time. Kind of looks like I'm getting lucky to be at two all as well. And that really was the case. I think this guy was a better player than me. Uh, and I mean, despite the fact that the goal that he gets to go into the lead was dodgy and it looked rubbish. Uh, he did deserve to be in the lead. Um, and I can push back to try and get back into this game. Leo Messi just sort of rainbow flicking it. Unfortunately, hits the bar. I don't know why he chipped it there. Was I holding LB? Maybe. I don't know. I might have just fat fingered it. Um, and then right, right, right at the end, uh, I get the chance with Atal. But a great save from Allison, And then Rashford. Oh, maybe I should have shot there. I don't know. Uh, I end up losing 3-2. But GG's to that guy. It was, a, again, a pretty even, tough match. Uh, and I'm one-on-one -on -one in the weekend league, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, dear. What are we going to do then? Well, we're going to go straight back in to another game. And we're going to come out two and one in the weekend league, all right? Either that or we're going to come out one and two. We'll, we'll see after this game. Uh, but he's got Mane, he's got Lippmann, and he's got all sorts of players there. But not the strongest of squads. <coughs> and I give a penalty away pretty early on. 
Littmanen steps up uh, and actually sticks with it. He moved his head to shoot that way, but I thought that was going to be the bluff, but he actually stuck with it. So GG's, and he scores the goal. Uh, I then get a penalty myself. Uh, I bluff right and then go left with Robin, uh, and he, you know, I actually send him for the bluff. So uh, we do get uh, a goal from our penalty. So we're one all right now, and I felt like I could win this game. I did feel like the stronger opponent if I, you know, if I am telling the truth. Um, and Robin cuts inside and actually scores on the two-star weak foot as well uh, to go 2-1 up. Then Messi just sort of rainbow flicks it. It ends up falling to him pretty luckily again. Like, I think maybe my opponent did defend that one fairly well. But um, in the end, he ends up quitting or disconnecting or something. But yeah, we get a 3-1 victory. So we are 2-1 and one in the weekend league. And that's where we're just going to stop for today. Obviously, tomorrow I'll carry it on. I'll do some more upgrade packs as well. And any other content that came out Friday night, maybe I'll look at uh, getting that done for the end of tomorrow's episode too. Um, but yeah, guys, that is going to be the end of the episode today. Uh, as we look through the squad, to Stegen, good start for him. I've been conceding goals though, so he's the same as any other goalkeeper. But still, it's nice to have him in net and I'll keep him for at least the next five minutes. So you never know when I'm going to sell a goalkeeper uh, or Messi or any of those guys. But uh, yeah, so far so good. My players are doing a good job. 11 goals, four assists for Messi. He's now on seven camp after playing over 10 games. So hopefully he'll start to be a little bit better than, than he, what he was in Rivals the other night. Uh, that's going to be the end of the episode. Hit me with a thumbs up. We're talking 5,000 likes. And if you haven't hit that thumbs up yet, why not? Because I've asked you like three times. Hit the thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel as well if you are new around here. I thank you for that. And of course, come and follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Links are down below. Take it easy, everyone. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Stay in lockdown. Check in on your mates and your family, yeah? Send them a text. Make sure everyone's doing all right. Uh, and I'll catch you tomorrow with another episode. Peace.